This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we welcome back a big name, Chef Nick DiGiovanni. You may recognize him as being a contestant on MasterChef Season 10. You came in third, right? You were in the final three? I did. I did. So impressive. And that was Thank a couple you. of years ago. You were even younger at the ago. time. Yeah. Competing with some wonderful chefs and competing for the best. I'm yeah. sure you learned a lot there. A ton. A ton. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was crazy, obviously. But it was fun. And I can't believe already like a year has passed. It's mm -hmm. been gone by fast. Well, because you visited us on, on the road show a little while Did. ago. You were talking a yeah. bit about your experience. It's nice to have you in the kitchen so you can Thank show you. off your talents. What are you making today? So today I'm making like this super simple dish. I actually fell in love with it during quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, it's these like crispy um, artichoke hearts and Yum. they come right out of a can which is why it was like oh everyone freaked out and you've got canned food and it's great mm -hmm. so I basically just dredge them in potato starch that's like my little trick for super crispy food it's a potato really potato starch yes. can yeah. you find that at the market or like even yeah. online pretty easy yeah it's pretty easy okay. to find like any I think any market should have that like yep. especially places like Whole Foods those kind of things yeah so potato starch and like put a couple of little whatever seasoning you want in there it's mm -hmm. easy just light dredge and then I just make a homemade tartar sauce that goes super well with artichoke hearts. So that's just like mayonnaise. No one knows how easy that is either, mm -hmm. but it's like mayonnaise, pickle, if you want a little caper, okay. lemon juice, and a little lemon zest, and that's it. That's all that goes into tartar sauce. Super, yeah. It's Who pretty, knew, it's right? Easy. Yeah, yeah. You, we, yeah, we can definitely tackle something we like can this. Do that. And you're right, those artichoke hearts, I always just get in the can. Sometimes I just throw them on a salad or something. I don't think to take them up a notch. They're so easy in a can. Yeah, exactly. It's like super, super easy to take different ways and mm -hmm. make these into something awesome. And the can, they don't brown and they don't do all the things that they do if you try to do them fresh. So it's just easy. It is. Well, I yeah. like that. You're giving us an easy one that we can tackle at yeah. home. And you share a lot of these like fun recipes and videos and stuff too. We got to give them a shout out. You have a TikTok page that is just... It's awesome. It's so popular. If it's you're not crazy. following him, be sure to, to do so. Yeah. No, that's, that's a lot of fun too. Like super quick. 15, 20, 30 second recipes. And it's mm -hmm. like, you get all of that, you get all of this in, in 20 seconds, so it's yeah. great. Well, I like that you're giving us an easy recipe that we can certainly tackle ourselves at home. Nick, hang tight for just a little bit. Perfect. We'll get cooking uh, in just a little while. Back in the kitchen with Chef Nick DiGiovanni, Master Chef Season 10, that's what he was on. We've got crispy artichoke hearts with tartar sauce. Uh, that's what he's preparing right now. So first, tell us what you're doing right now. Yeah. So I, I'm just frying these off really quickly right now. Okay. Um, like, nice big heavy bottom pan. Yep. Oil with a high smoke point, and just like let them go till they get. And you get all this stuff all over you, but that just happens. wipe it off the back. <laughs> and then it's gonna splatter a little bit, but you got to be used to that for your okay. fry stuff. Um, and get them nice and crispy. I just did a little. I always like to do a test one. Uh, I, I never really use like a temperature gauge, but yep. like 350, 375, somewhere on there. Sweet spot, and then you just let them go, and you're good to go. So, exactly. So, what do the friends think about your friends think about this? I mean, obviously, the friends and everybody around you probably eat really well. Yeah, it's nice, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's funny because so my roommate's always like in the kitchen, sort of after the day's over, and he he wants me to like mark the food that he can eat, and then the other food is like the off limits food that I need for the next sure. day. So, it's a lot of planning and stuff for the ingredients, but. Yeah, I love to share it with everyone, and um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the, the recipes that you um, that you put together, Nick, are they things that you just kind of piece together because you've been doing this for a while, or is it somebody who you kind of like look to and go, you know what? I think I'm going to give that a try. I've always, I've never actually been a fan of, um, of you know, like an like actual cookbook, cookbook or that okay. kind of thing. I just have it. Um, but but these are all like fun around things. This dish, for instance, is so easy, and it came out of quarantine because everyone is in that panic mode where it's like, do we need to buy canned goods? Sure. So I bought canned artichoke hearts, and I was like, what do I do with all these? And I ended up just trying to think of a good way to make them nice and crispy, change them up a little bit, and this is just comes out of anything, you know. And obviously, you did a, you know you run the Master Chef season ten, did a great job on that. Has cooking always been something that you have loved, and where do you think that love comes from? Uh, so definitely family, I think. Um, Growing up in Rhode Island, you have like a lot of this great Italian food on sure, you know, Federal sure. Hill, right, right. all that stuff. So, um, and I had like grandparents and and um, pretty much everyone in my family coming from a different background for cooking. So, my Persian grandfather, my Indian aunts, my like just Italian, German, Mix all over of everything, the place. Yeah. It's awesome. So I learned so many different cuisines, so many different dishes from that, and I think that's just like the easiest sort of starting point for oh. someone who wants to come. All right, Michaela was talking about it earlier, that you are on TikTok. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what TikTok is, it's an app, short videos on there. A ton of people are, are, you know, watching these videos all the time. I hear my kids on it, my family's on it all the time. 
What was that like and what was the inspiration to get on that and how has that experience because you have 1.5 million followers, yeah. 29.5 million likes on TikTok, which is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. There, there are TV shows that don't get that much. It is crazy. I totally agree. I, I, that's another one of those quarantine things. It's like, you know, life just happens in some way and you got to roll with it. And right. everyone was getting on TikTok. So I started feeling like I was old and out of the, the older generation or whatever. <laughs> and so I, I figured why Surprise. not give it a shot, right? It's going to happen at some point, but I just didn't want it to happen yet. Yeah. So I, I sort of figured why not give it a shot. And that's just when I started making videos because I cook so much that might as well sort of... Um, you know, put put some online and see what happens. Right, and yeah. and they're really well done. And uh, you know, how do people find you on on there? Uh, I I don't know. I mean, the the way that the whole thing works, honestly, is just that like, if it's a cool video and people seem to interact well with it, then it shows it to more and more people. So, but but my handle is Nick DiGiovanni, it's just my name. Just and, just search the um, name. Yeah, yeah, and it's but it's it's great. It's what's, fun. what's that interaction been like with fans who are obviously out there and they're watching all the time? And TikTok has obviously exploded, and more people are watching it, and it's a a new yeah, type of medium. It's, it's overwhelming to see how fast it grows because right. I think um, you know you grow, you can grow fifty thousand. There's days where I've gained one hundred twenty thousand fans on there, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> that is crazy. Right? That so, is crazy. So you can't really plan for that. Right. You just have to, you know. Well, that's hey. Look, I yeah. say jump on that bandwagon while you got exactly. it. Why exactly. Exactly. All right, tell everybody what you're doing here. All right, so you know I'm throwing this together sort of all, all over the place here, but. It's, it's simple, uh, just a little bit of tartar sauce on the bottom. No one knows how easy it is to make. Just pickles, mayonnaise, pretty much pickles and mayonnaise is all you need. You got the acid in the pickles, you got the crunch of the pickles, and then the mayo. And that's mm -hmm. tartar sauce, basically, a little lemon juice. Um, these are nice and crispy, the artichoke hearts right on top. You gotta get the oil to a nice smoke point to right. get it crispy. And I don't wanna like kinda overdo them here, but this is perfect. And then I love, if I'm gonna use lemon juice, I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon zest on the top. So just like tap a little Dude, bit it of- it looks great. Tap a little bit of lemon zest on there. And it was simple to make. It's simple to make and, and easy and nice and well balanced. And then a few chives on the top and that's it. And it's super easy. And it's done. And this is the type of thing that you put on your TikTok account yeah they're quick yeah. and easy 30 40 seconds long boom and you're done really fast videos i think that's what people like that's like the new generation they just want to see it fast right, and right. easy so yeah so what's the what's kind of like the end game here i mean do you want a restaurant do you want to what are you looking for in the future it's super hard to know right now yeah um but i mean i yeah. i just keep i love it so much just making food videos giving people food that kind of stuff so I'm just going to keep doing that and kind of hope that it sort of figured itself well, out. I got to say, I, I was I was on looking at them. And you do such a great job. I mean, the way they're shot, the way they look, um, even even the recipes that are on there yeah. are something simple and easy that people can put together, and yeah. that looks delicious too. Yeah, I mean, what, whatever simple is is great these days. It's yeah. hard to get someone in the kitchen to cook in the first place, right? right? So if you, if you can get them in there and convince them that like it's just going to be so much better if you make it yourself, yeah. then. It's great. Well, man, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for All having me. All the best to you, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank uh, you. If you would like this recipe, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.